On today's Showbiz Korea, we'll take you to the special premiere of the movie The Gangster Shaman, where you can check out actor Park Shin Young's comedic acting. Meet actors Yoo Jin and Lee Jung Jin at the press conference of their new drama A Hundred Years Inheritance. And get the details on the attractive qualities of actors Song Joong Gi and Kim Soo Hyun who captivate all the ladies. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. We're very excited to have you here today. This is Showbiz Korea. Now buckle up, get ready to have some fun with us. All right, here we go. The seven members of the group Infinite really soared to the top last year with all their activities in various fields of uh, the entertainment industry. And guess what? Now they have become models for one sports brand. Now this sports brand company said that uh, this group's lively and bright image suited the brand's uh, image as well. So I guess they're doing really well in the music music industry as well as the commercial world. That's right, they're very busy uh, all over the place. We're also going to uh, have high expectations for a unit group called Infinite H, including the members Tongu and Hoya. I guess H for hip hop because they're going to come back to us with some hip hop appeal. And on top of that, Infinite is receiving a lot of love in Japan as well. They re uh, released an album over there. So yes. you know what, 2013 is going to be an interesting year for this group. It's going to be quite infinite, okay. I would say. Everyone, welcome to the show. Here we go. This is Showbiz Korea. Cho Sang Min is the ex-husband of the deceased actress Choi Jin Sil and was a former pro baseball player. All of a sudden, he ended his life on the 6th. The funeral parlor was set up at a hospital located in Seungbuk district of Seoul, and even though it was late, many came to pay their respects to the dead. His junior from Korea University baseball player Park Yong-tek came to show his respects, and he couldn't hide his grief. Coaches Jung min Chol and Hong Won-gi, who was in the same class as the deceased, was at the funeral parlor as well. Baseball players Shin Kyung-hyun and Jin Ga-byung was present as well. But what hurt everyone at the funeral parlor was seeing Hwan Hee and Chun Hee, the children of the deceased. The two children lost their mother, uncle, and their father. They were at the funeral parlor, then went home at around 9 p.m. The father of the deceased came to the funeral parlor as well. Former pro baseball player Yang jun Hyuk and Park chan couldn't come to the funeral parlor but sent condolence wreaths. A lot of people said their goodbyes to the deceased through SNS. Yi kyung pil of the Tucson Bears wrote, I offer my condolences to Cho Sung min Hope you will rest in peace in heaven. And Yang jun Hyuk wrote, I offer my condolences to the deceased baseball player Cho Sung min Meanwhile, the police decided to do an autopsy to check the exact cause of his death. The deceased will be laid to rest at a memorial park located in Gyeonggi province. We hope his family members will make it through this harsh well and may the deceased rest in peace. The movie Gangster Shaman is raising everyone's expectation with Park Shin Young's comedic acting and it held a special premiere. Many stars came to show their support for Park Shin Young, Um Ji Won, Jung Hye Young, and the others of the Gangster Shaman. We could meet actress Han Hye Jin, who recently broke up with her boyfriend. Uh, 박수 건다 예고편 보고 정말 많이 기대하고 왔어요. 지원 언니, 해영 언니, 화이팅! 영화 재밌게 볼게요. 대박 나세요. Han Ji Hye, the heroine of the recently finished hit drama May Queen, was at the premiere and showed off her amazing fashion style. 박수 건다 영화 너무 재밌을 것 같고요. 지원 언니 응원하러 왔어요. 엄지원 언니 영화 속 모습 너무 기대되고 영화도 재밌게 잘 보겠습니다. 박수 건다 대박 나세요. 감사합니다. Actresses Park Jin Hye and Wang Bin Na showed their close friendship as they came to the event together. 지원 언니가 또 오랜만에 영화 나오는 거라서 응원해 주고 싶어서요. 네, 어, 대박 나시길 바랄게요. 네, 너무 재밌을 것 같습니다. 잘 보겠습니다. To anyone, Sandra Bak appeared with Tablo and his wife Kang Hyejung, and the three of them showed support for Chang Hyejung. 네, 오늘 정혜영 언니 응원하러 왔고요. 영화 잘 보겠습니다. 화이팅. 
The Gangster Shaman is a comedic movie about hilarious happenings of a gangster played by Park Shinyang, who becomes possessed by a spirit and leads a life as a shaman by day and a gangster by night. We hope it receives a lot of love. Many stars are starting 2013 off with uh, various activities. Yes, that's right. And we will be looking forward, of course, to the activities of the uh, recently turned adults stars. I mean, look at that. Miss A. Susie, who received a lot of love with her, you know, lots of productions last year, turned uh, into adults as well as FX's member Sully and Chris. So they all became adults this year. That's right. In addition to the names you mentioned, Yemi, we also have some other names. 21's uh, Kong Min Ji, but also Kang Ji Young of the group Kara and also Tongo of the group Yukis. They all turned adults this year. I guess all the restrictions on their activities have been lifted. So I think we can look forward to their transformation this year. Maybe yes. a little bit. Okay, maybe <laughs> some scandals. I don't Ooh, know. Wow, we'll see. We'll word. keep an eye out on their activities, everyone. And we'll let you know as soon as we have crispy details. All right, moving on with our program, we're going to take you to the press conference of the new drama, A Hundred Years Inheritance. We're going to learn all there is to know about this drama from the cast, Eugene and Lee jung -jin. A drama which will warm up the viewers this cold winter has finally been publicized. It is a new weekend drama, A Hundred Years Inheritance, with top-notch actors, and it recently held its press conference. Showbiz Korea was there to meet the cast, so let's take a look. The press conference for the drama A Hundred Years Inheritance took place at the 63 building located in Yeoido, Seoul. The venue was brimming with press members and the cast members as well as director Chu song Wu was at the press conference. Everyone told the audience about their feelings in appearing in this drama. A Hundred Years in Our Tens is a family drama filled with the stories of young men and women, as well as the life of a large family living together. An old store in the outskirts of Seoul is the backdrop of this drama and it draws on the family life who has run a noodle factory for three generations. Eugene is back as an actress after two years and four months after her marriage. And after Lee Jung Jin are working together, and we can look forward to their chemistry. Yeah, 
Eugene wore a black dress with frill decorations and matched it with a chic pair of black high heels. She still looked beautiful and shined brightly even after her marriage. She showed strong affection for this drama and cheered for its success with the other actors. Uh, I Yujin 어, 좀더 많이 가지려고 열심히 사는 집안이 있는 반면에 이익이 없어도 어떤 집에 가업을 이어서 이익이 없는데도 그거를 뚜벅뚜벅 걸어나가는 이 양쪽의 어떤 차이를 놓고 과연 어떤 삶이 더 행복한 삶일지 한번 이렇게 지켜보시는 것도 그리고 또 판단해 보시는 것도 이 드라마를 보시는 또 하나의 재미가 되지 않을까 그런 생각 갖고 있습니다. 네. The drama, 100 Years Inheritance, has been in the spotlight even before it started airing. Veteran actors as well as young actors are working together in this production, and we hope it will captivate the viewers of all ages. Showbiz Korea hopes it will be a huge hit. Welcome back everyone, I hope you're having fun. We just took you to the press conference of the new drama, A Hundred Years Inheritance, starring SCS Eugene, and I personally think she has gotten more beautiful after her marriage. I was gonna say that too. She is a little bit more different after she got married. I don't mm -hmm. know, I think she's gotten a little bit more mellow. Maybe mellow, maybe she matured a little bit more. I guess uh, many yeah. people will be looking forward to her acting. She will be starring alongside uh, Lee Jung Jin, and he became very famous, of course, uh, through the movie last year, Pieta, internationally acclaimed. I guess we will be looking forward to the two's uh, chemistry. A Hundred Years uh, Inheritance has replaced the previous production in the same uh, time slot, May Queen. Now, this production uh, did a very good job, had a high viewers rating, so I don't know. I think there's a you know, positive competition uh -huh. going on right there. We'll see what happens on TV. Good luck to A Hundred Years Inheritance. Okay. Let's continue on, Showbiz Korea viewers. We have more news prepared for you, and we will zoom in on two hot and trendy actors of last year, 2012. I'm talking about actor Song Joong Gi and actor Kim Soo All the details right now. It goes without a doubt to say that Korean entertainment issues in 2012 started with actor Kim Soo Hyun and ended with Song Joong Gi. Their activities stood out and we checked out their secrets to captivating all the ladies. We can't help ourselves from yearning for actor Kim Soo Hyun. He starred in the historical drama The Sun and the Moon in the first half of 2012 and gained fame as a handsome king who we don't often see in historical dramas. 나라의 임금 나 정도 생기기가 어디 쉬운 줄 아느냐. In addition, he was known as the sexiest king in history, and it's normal for all the ladies to fall for Kim Soo Hyun. 내가 잘 생긴 건잘 안다만 그만 쳐다보거라. 하긴 일하는 사내가 원래 멋져 보이기는 하지. 게다가 일국의 왕위까지 하니 오죽 멋지겠네. Kim Soo Hyun is perfect as he is, and he looks more handsome as he looks like he knows that he is perfect in every way. Kim Soo Hyun made The Sun and the Moon a national drama and even affected the film industry. <laughs> Maybe it's because of this promise, but The Thieves became the first ever Korean movie to become the biggest box office hit. Kim Soo Hyun's perfect acting, from a handsome king of the Joseon dynasty to a gorgeous thief, was enough to wow all the ladies. 
Kim Soo Hyun isn't only talented in acting, he is armed with perfect dance moves and singing skills, just like the pros. <laughs> He was chosen as the most handsome king of the Joseon dynasty, and his perfect features kept the ladies up all night. He was perfect from head to toe, including his small face and perfect looks. We all fall in love with Kim Soo Hyun's attractive traits, and the ladies don't think of falling out of it anytime soon. <laughs> Kim Soo Hyun's attractive traits are affecting the commercial world as well. There are approximately 15 commercials which this actor is the face for. There is one star who is considered Kim Soo Hyun's rival. Like Kim Soo Hyun's predictions, Song Joong Gi captivated everyone in the latter half of 2012. Actor Song Joong Gi suited the word pretty flower boy right from the start until recent days. 그런 모습이 저는 네, 어, 마음에 좀, 들었었어요. 네. 조금... He played a nameless handsome boy in the movie A Frozen Flower and recklessly winked left and right in the drama Sung Kyung Kwan Scandal. His complexion was smoother than the ladies and these traits are enough to make the ladies fall in love with Song Joong Gi. But the viewers saw a new side of Song Joong Gi in the drama Deep Rooted Tree. He played the young Yi Do and stimulated the maternal instincts of all the ladies. And thus, in 2012, Song Joong Gi became a handsome actor who can act extremely well. He played an attractive character in Nice Guy and secured the throne in a drama. And now he became a werewolf boy and had over 7 million viewers, a first in the history of Korean mellow movies. There's no end to this guy's attractive qualities. Do you think my character is like this? He can control his fans at a snap of his fingers. I want to do a lot of the same melody. Yeah. It's very... Why? Why? Is it not? I understand. The actresses feel their hearts skip a beat when they are with Song Joong Gi. The handsome pretty boy became a wolf boy who all the ladies want to raise. Song Joong Gi stimulates everyone with totally contrasting characters, so we wonder what his actual self is like. Song Joong Gi and Kim Soo Hyun make us all smile, and we will keep an eye out on their future activities.
All right, everyone. Before we wrap up the show, as usual, we will be answering one of your questions. I hope you're ready. Yemi, the mic is yours. And that one is from Gloria and the Philippines. Hello, Showbiz Korea. I'm Gloria from the Philippines. I really love your show. Thanks a lot. I want to know more about Pang Min Young. I love her so much. More power and God bless you both at the show. All right. Well, thank you very much for uh, your question. I guess uh, Pang Min Young is very uh, known for her cute yet uh, sexy qualities at times. People also really adore her for her lovable smile and also her beautiful complexion and baby face beauty. Now, her recent magazine shoot is causing quite a sensation right now. The untouched photo with like no modifications, nothing, whatever, is showing uh, Pang Min Young's skinny waist and voluptuous figure, which stimulated a lot of female fans to go on diets. Pak Min Young appeared out of the blue in 2006 through the hit sitcom High Kick and gained fame through this production. Since then, she received a lot of love through the drama I Am Sam, Song Yung Wan Scandal, Glory Jane, and many others. And of course, she became a top star. She played the role of Kwon Ji Yong, who's also known as G Dragon's terminally ill girlfriend, in Big Bang's music video for the song Day by Day. In this music video, she cried for over four hours and was nicknamed the Queen of Tears. Kang Min Young played a double role in the historical drama Dr. Jin and perfectly pulled off the hard role. She received positive reviews for her detailed acting. All right, welcome back. So now you know more about her and her activities. Uh, Dr. Jin just recently ended, so she's on a break and she's looking into maybe her future production. I guess as an actress, she really wants to mature and wants to maybe experience some in-depth acting. Well, she's going to do a good job because she always does her best yes. in everything, but there's something mysterious about her all what? the time. I don't know. That's why, you know, she makes us look forward to her next step. Maybe that's why many people are attracted uh, to her and her appearance. Appeals. Okay. All right, everyone, if you have any questions, please send them in. It's time for us to wrap up the show here. Mm -hmm. You can join us on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. And if you have a question, film yourselves. What yeah, do they do? Film yourself. Just put on the title, I Love Showbiz Korea, yes. and upload it on YouTube, and we will find it. That's right. We'll find it, and we'll air it on the show here. So don't hesitate. Don't be shy. We'll see you soon again, everyone. Take okay. care. Bye-bye. Uwa a a a, 그래도 난 왠지 싫지 않았지. Uwa. 어디선가 많이 본 듯해 너의 예쁜 미소가 나를 두근 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 설레게 했지. Uwa a a a. 이유가 어디 있어? 좋으면 그냥 좋. Why do you want to see me?